Hi guys, thank you for joining me. Um, this video is going to be focusing on tailored expressions, masking stencils. I recently had a gift card and I was thrilled that I was able to use it to get this bundle. I was very pleased to find out that each set actually comes with two stencils. I thought it was just one. So you can make two different sizes, you know, mask out two different sizes. And it also comes with the inserts. And here, I don't know if you can see those little perforation or etched lines in the plastic. It will help you line up your paper cardstock in the back um, to get your mat to get it nice and straight. Because God knows I can use all the help I can get. I bought the ovals, the circles, and the squares as well. I bought the bundle, and I think it was fifty-eight dollars and. It's well worth it because you're getting eight stencils and the the middle parts too. And they're etched. So, I mean, you really can't go wrong. I'm using MFT Floral Focus and some oxides. I'll have the colors and the products and everything listed below. So, moving on, I'm going to be using the smaller of the rectangle for my uh, masked out centerpiece there. So, I'm just figuring out like you know how much of my image is going to be partially in the mast area and partially out i like that look i recently posted a card on instagram that i used um, this technique it's not in the video because after i made the card i made it for a friend her birthday was late it was you know was sending the card out late so i sent it out and uh, i didn't have it for the video I will be adding the pictures at the end and basically I did it the exact same way as I'm doing as I did that card. I'm just using different colors of oxides. So at the end, you'll see the photo of that card and also the oxide colors I used to make that one. I really like those colors together. So here I was experimenting with some new colors I've never tried before mixing together. And what's nice about Bristol cardstock and oxides is if you too heavy on one color or whatever, you can go over it with the, with the other. They're really good at layering. So they're very forgiving. And God knows me, a sloppy boo-boo crafter, can use all the help I can get. So forgiving craft supplies is for me. So, <clears throat> and also, you know what I like? <coughs> Excuse me. You know what I like about this uh, mass stencil is that, you know, when you blend... Um, you know how when you blending something, you tap off on the side before you bring your ink blender to the paper? Because if you don't, you get that circle. What's nice about these stencils that you have that extra plastic there, and I'm tapping off on the, on the frame itself before I bring, bring it to the paper. So it, and then I could also pull that ink in to my image. So it really is... I don't know. I'm really happy with these as a um, crafting tool. I'm uh, really happy I bought them. And uh, it's just one of those items I will be using time and time again. So moving on. I'm just using different colors here again. You know, I realized that Seedless Preserves was like, wow. It was pretty strong. It didn't really go well with my Dusty Concord and my Milled Lavender. So I kind of tried to blend it out and, and dull it down a little bit. But I still wanted to leave it in there. So I did. It kind of, it, it goes okay. Anyway, next um, color combination, again, is another new one to me. It's Chip Sapphire. Um, what is that next one? Is that Seedless Preserves? No, no, no I'm sorry. It's Dusty Concord. And that one, oh, I have them all listed below. And I just mix these together and, you know, basically doing the same thing, just repeating the steps with different color oxides. And again, the card at the end is probably my favorite combination of its Victorian velvet, sponge sugar, peeled paint, and crushed olive, I believe. I really like those together. They really came out nice. Oxides are great. They're really good for blending and they make nice colors. So look, see, they all came, they all diff they're all different, but they all came out nice, I think. So moving on to make my first card, I used my favorite things, floral focus, lined it up because I wanted, you know, a lot of 
on the image to be outside of the masked area. And I was kind of going for pretty much, not clean and simple, but a pretty simple kind of, kind of a card. I wanted the theme to be simple cards, simple masking. So there you go. Well, not in that order. Simple masking and simple cards. So I'm using Gina K Amalgam Ink and I'm stamping that on there. And I had to do it a few times because the oxides, sometimes you have to, you know, really push it on there to get a nice black crisp image. This one I'm using Honeybee Cosmo stamp. This is one of my, I love this. I'm so glad I bought this set. I got it a while ago, but I really love it. I mean, it's just one of those stamps you can always use. I mean, look at that beautiful flower. It's a nice size. It's perfect for a focal point. So again, a little bit of the flowers outside. Now, this last one, I did a landscape, and I used Concord and Ninth Painted Rose. This is another one of my favorites. I love this rose. It's just so beautiful. It's another one of those stamps that I'll just treasure. So this one, again, same thing. Stamped it half in, half out, and that's it. Moving on, I'll be making cards and showing you how, how I use turn these into complete cards. So yeah, this one I had to stamp a few times to get it to show up black, nice and dark. There's a lot of card making videos out there, so it means a lot to me that you stop by. So here's the three cards I made. E easy stuff, not hard at all to do. Here's the card that I posted on Instagram and I sent to my friend uh, for her birthday, so I wasn't able to share it in the video, but this is the card I was talking about. Everything was done the same way, so I truly appreciate you stopping by. It means so much to me. I know I said it before, but it really does mean a, mean a lot to me. Thank you so much.